Okay, manifestation mastery, really getting into this and making sure that we are in the right place and activating what we want today. First note to think about and maybe to write down is remember whatever you want in February, activate that today. Whatever you want next week, activate that today. And actually, instead of sharing the PowerPoint here, let's go to the whiteboard first and then we'll go to the PowerPoint. Remember what we experience in this timeline of what we call existence or life is, of course, this is not a brain buster, you know this well, we experience what we perceive as a past, present, and future. Of course, yesterday was yesterday, today's today, tomorrow's tomorrow, easy enough. And this is what we call in our physical being, physical body, we experience this. This is what we are experiencing when we look outside, look through our senses. When you look at me on this call, we had it scheduled for 12 p.m. Eastern. We have a schedule, we have calendars, we have time tracking. But I really want you to think, even if you've already heard me say this or any other speaker or book or anything like that, when you close your eyes, if you do that right now, and you see an image in your mind, where is that? Think about yesterday. Remember something that you did yesterday. It could be the lunch that you ate. It could be a business action you did. Maybe drive in your car or your vehicle. So close your eyes and see that image, anything. Ask yourself, what is that? Is it just in your physical head? Is there a place that you're going that's really like an invisible place? What is this imagination that you're seeing these images on? Really question that. You can open up your eyes now. It should give you goosebumps sometimes and kind of like, well, positive shivers, really thinking. Now, as a kid, we all talk about uh, stop daydreaming. Oh, you're just using your imagination that, you know, you're flying or you have pots and pans and using them as drums or you have this uh, glass and you're using it as a spaceship, right? Kids can imagine mm -hmm. and we're just saying, oh, that's just fantasy. Or is it creating something? Is there creative powers that first come in that higher side and, and as you use that higher side, it comes to and through you in the physical? Really think for a moment. What is it? What is imagination? What's the substance? This is how we unlock our potential. A lot of people have a common question. This is why I had all the time. How do I know I have this full potential, full financial potential, full business potential, uh, mind potential, all this stuff. How do I actually unlock a full potential? It's actually getting in thought and awareness. That's all it is. Opening your awareness. The art of questioning and really taking a look at these things objectively gets you out of hurry mode throughout your day and really says, wow, what is imagination? What is thought? What is energy? What are we doing here? How does this all work, if you will? And the more you think about this and the more you question, the more you study from people who have already found out the answers, we come to realize that your imagination is the creative center of all things. It's a screen. It's like a filter of what's being created, if you will. And in imagination, so over here we said physical body, we're going to call this imagination, or we'll call it also fourth dimensional energetic side of you. All time and space is actually coexisting right now in that side of you. This is where it gets a little tricky to think about because as human beings, it's kind of challenging to think non in 
3D and think it 4D or any other dimension. So we just want to feel into this. We don't really need to understand through our eyes or anything like that. We just want to feel into it. So if our imagination, all time is happening right now, the past, the present, future, is all actually right now in fourth dimensional side of us, imagination. So let's do the exercise one more time. If you close your eyes, you can see yesterday. Think about yesterday. Think about Christmas 2019 if you celebrate Christmas or just holiday time. Think about today. What's happening right now in this moment while you're on a Zoom call or you're watching the replay? That's now. And think about what could happen tomorrow. Think about the breakfast you're going to eat tomorrow. See it in your mind. None of those things are actually happening right now, except for the one thing that you could visualize right now, but that moment's also gone, and here's another now moment. So we can easily see that inside of our own thought process, all time is right now, past, present, future. And that's really... Also, there's a lot more that goes into this, but also the idea of the I am. Now, again, I'm, not, I'm just barely touching the surface on the saying of the I am and the importance and the reasons why we're saying it. But one of those reasons is because all time is right now in your higher side, because all energy is, it's all right now. If I say I am something that I'm not physically, our minds will get tricked. We'll say, this is a load of BS. Everything around me, if I say I'm wealthy and I don't have a lot of wealth around me, that's a lie. It's a physical lie. But in your higher side, your spiritual side, your energetic side, it is truth. Because your spiritual DNA is perfect. So I am wealthy is true because the currency of wealth in the higher dimension is thought. It's really getting good. This is why it's possible to manifest what you want and what you don't want. Because if I am constantly saying and looking at my physical conditions and I'm saying, I am poor, I am not doing well or whatever it is that our mind and thought is dominating. We're looking more at the physical. Guess what's also happening though? A pure replica is happening also up here. And tomorrow we're still not doing well because we affirmed it today. So let's get rid of that. And I'll erase that as well. Now, here's a very, very important thing that should be just the absolute game changer for everyone, including myself, to understand. If you affirm today what you want, I now received an extra 10 grand in my account. It's not physically true. You're going to open up your eyes after visualizing it's not physically true but you've activated it in your energetic field. There's a series of events that are gonna to start to unfold to allow in time for you to experience having an extra 10K in your bank account. So it's not gonna to happen today, although it could. What I'm saying is that it's not happening right now in the moment, but when you go within and you see what you do want and you emotionalize it and open up your eyes, you have activated the bridge of incidents. You've activated a series of events to now unfold over your coming hours, days, and weeks for you to experience that thing. It doesn't happen out of thin air. It doesn't happen out of thin dust. There's a natural progression of it unfolding as we go. So maybe tomorrow something happens, and then the next day, and next day, and next day, and within five, six days, boom, you actually experience, whoa, where'd that come from? 
an extra 10K. This visual will explain why everything has happened in all of our lives. That's serious. That's seriously big information. Along with that, it also explains how you can get whatever you want for the rest of your life. And we also want to remember here, universe fills this in. We don't do that. We don't have to guess. Is there action involved? Hell yeah, there is. It's a balance between allowing the universe to fill in the gap and you taking action in the moment now, focusing right now on the best that you can do. So this middle part here that unfolds to allow you to have what you want is a partnership between number one, the universe setting everything up, connecting everything to you. Plus, number two, your inspired, focused action on the now using your intuition increasing all doing the best to build your business going through the fears <clears throat> Very good to know. So you do the best you can today, but you're not worried and doubtful. You're just doing the best you can in this moment. If you have an idea to go do something, you go and do that thing. If something feels uncomfortable, you just go do it anyways. Because it's a partnership between the universe actually doing things for you and also urging you to go do things, which is part of number two. Pretty good stuff. Last part here. That also explains why some of us have come across awesome circumstances a year later. Okay, so we'll say that's a year down the road. And I was just thinking about you, Jim, because you're right here in my video right in front of me. That in 11 months, things just were so much bigger, brighter, and better. It didn't take 11 days, although things did, you had wins throughout the 11 months, but it's like an exponential accumulation of the great work you've been doing within. So this is really an exponential or a compound effect As you keep activating what you want every single day, it starts to dramatically take off like a rocket. That's why it's so important to do this exercise every day, no matter what. It's like taking a shower every day, brushing the teeth every day. Can you imagine if you didn't brush your teeth every day for a year? Not good. But that also has a compound decay effect. We're almost going in like a little science. It's not that your teeth just get like a little more yellow. They go downhill quickly. So there's not a lot of linear things. You know, if I put out something today, it doesn't mean I'm going to get it tonight. It doesn't mean I'm going to get that same thing to actually visualize in my mind. Also important to know. It may be slightly different and we want to be okay with that. Our job is to keep in that center, that energetic center, feeling good and putting out and activating what we want. Okay, great stuff. I, I mean, this formula right here is how everything changed in my life. It wasn't just success thinking or positive thinking. It wasn't just setting the goals or anything. This right here is how I started to actually manifest everything I could possibly want in my life.
and a lot of you too that have experienced dramatic shifts. You got to believe it though. That's the big thing. Okay. Questions on this. There's a lot going on here. Um, any question you could throw it in a chat box. You can raise your hand, anything that you'd like. It's important to see the end scene only. And since maybe things haven't gone exactly the way you want to financially, it's not always intuition saying this is the only way. It's almost always a path of least resistance to finally get you moving. Mm, yes. And that's okay. So if you just were charging various amounts or various clients or whatever it is right now to get things unresisted into a flow mode, that's fine. Mm -hmm. And it's going to feel most likely that you need more structure to scale what you're doing, though that's not necessarily the truth and needing to have very important your goal card, your self-image, your affirmations is because we don't believe it. We might activate it and then tonight, we're thinking thoughts completely opposite all night and we forget about, you know, where we are prosperity wise. So the repetition allows you to help to remember as well as constantly plant the seed into your subconscious to allow that to stick as a habit, a thought habit, yeah. which will then ultimately get into the universal mind. That's right. where we want everything. Yeah. Now it makes more sense to me that, okay, like manifest within 40 seconds, but make sure you're matching it with affirmations. Um, if I still need more work to get to that. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yep. And also remember, even if you don't do the affirmations, but you double down on the visualization and you, you say a statement like, I just earned an extra 10,000. The next line that you might want to visualize is, I am fully prosperous and open to receiving. So it's not necessarily that you have to do the internal work through the repetition. You can also do it in your visualization exercise as well. It's very powerful. How, how is that? Can you repeat that repetition in the manifestation, but not like not manifesting the same thing you're not talking about? No, no. Doing the internal work after you write down what you do, just what you now received or earned or anything like that. You could do the affirmation in your visualization. Oh, yeah. Like at the end of that. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Excellent question, Dina, because this is very important to get clear and understand the real meanings behind everything we're talking about here. And your depth of awareness is, is creating such a super uh, consciousness kind of going on right now. So excellent work. Thank you. I have another question, but maybe I'll give a chance to someone else to stop. Sure. Sure. Yeah, we'll go to Barbara and then we'll go um, back to you here. Just before we go to Barbara here. Um, also remember, a lot of people you hear say manifestation doesn't work for me. Okay, you, we've heard like a law of attraction is not working for me. We might have said it for ourselves or you've heard somebody else say that. That is an incorrect statement. That's a lack of understanding. The laws are always working. You're always manifesting. You manifest what you don't want or your current results, or something you do want. It's always happening every moment of every day. The words I'm speaking right now are manifestations. So it's not that it's working or not working. It might not be working deliberately on what you desire. That's the only difference there. The law of attraction, law of vibration are always working. You just may have used the law of attraction in a way that brought you similar results, if that makes sense. That's a very, very critical understanding. Uh, top left-hand corner here. <clears throat> Barbara, that's you. You're, a, you're an oval today, okay, because I'm not going to draw uh, you. We'll just symbolize you as an oval. And you are looking to manifest maybe some sort of result. We'll call that a little <clears throat> diamond or, or square there. <clears throat> Our manifestations... <clears throat> are in a wavelength of being blocked or allowed in. And these are what we call energy blocks. Great thing to write down. There may be something in your energetic field to keep you in this space. Excuse me. I 
throat's a little, uh, let me clear up. All right, so these energy blocks can be beliefs, can be concepts, which is really the internal environment. And at the same time can be your external environment, which we will call your space. And the more that we can clear up the energy blocks internally and externally, the faster those results will come. So indeed, Barbara, I would just focus on the decluttering if it takes you more than four days. So it's longer than this Sunday. I would still make sure by Monday you're going back to doing all your mindset work, no matter what. Because even though you're not necessarily in the full space to receive what you want, even if you put out your desire and you do the internal and external work to clear the path, that desire will come next week. So even if you're not now ready to receive, you send out what you want and you make yourself ready to be in that receiving mode through the decluttering and that desire will land in your lap. So even though we activate something today, that's, that doesn't mean we need to be ready for it. If we all activated our dream homes that maybe you're not living in or maybe you are already. If you're not, okay, but it's equivalent to not brushing your teeth. So as much as you could do consistently wise, hey, if forget a day here or there, we've all done it where maybe you didn't brush your teeth at nighttime or you're too tired. Okay, it may happen here and there. One day, two days here and there through marketing and sales, but you sucked at marketing and sales, bad thing to do. Yeah. Okay, so that's why you're not helping them just earn money or you're not helping them do, you're helping them unlock the powers within and therefore on the outside, everything will improve, including financial. Mm -hmm. You're an expert at the mind and helping them do all the things they know they could be doing. 